Friday. Good afternoon and welcome to this hearing of the Committee on Government Operation and Councilmember Fernando Cabrera. And we've been joined by Councilmember Kalos, Councilmember Yeager, Councilmember Powers, Councilmember Perkins. Today we're holding a hearing and vote on six resolutions all related to election and campaign finance reform in New York State. First, we have resolution 307 sponsored by myself calling upon the New York State legislature uh, sure, to pass and the government to sign legislation that would authorize same-day voter registration in New York, which will allow eligible residents to register to vote and cast a ballot at a poll site on election day. Too often people may be unaware that they are not currently registered to vote, yet feel strongly enough about an election to want to come into a poll site to participate in democracy. We should be encouraging people to vote, not discouraging them from doing so simply because paperwork was not submitted in time. Saying their re registration will fix this situation. Second, we have a pre-considered resolution sponsored by myself calling upon the New York State legislature to uh, pass and the governor to sign legislation uh, in relation to the political expenditure of limited liability companies. The LLC loophole, as is often referred to, is an accident of history that treats limited liability companies differently from other companies and corporations. This loophole has been used to introduce more corporate money into state elections than would otherwise be permitted. This resolution is asking the state to close that loophole. Third, we have another pre-considered resolution sponsored by myself calling upon the state, New York State, to pass and the governor to sign uh, legislation in relation to requiring a new party to file a certificate following the election at which the party obtains party status. Currently, there is no deadline for a new party to submit its name and logo so they will be included on voter registration form and this will permit the more timely printing a complete voter registration form. Fourth, we have a pre-considered resolution sponsored by Speaker, Speaker Corey Johnson calling upon the state, New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign the Voter Enfranchisement Modernization Act of 2018, an act which establishes an electronic personal voter registration process and provides for online voter registration. This committee, under the sponsorship of its prior chair, council member Ben Kalos, has already taken on the decision of universal online voter registration by passing legislation last year to create such a portal for the city. However, this resolution is asking the state to introduce true universal online voter registration for the entire state. Fifth, we have a pre-considered resolution sponsored by Councilmember Ben Kalos calling upon the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign legislation authorizing ballot by mail, no excuse, absent ballot voting, and early voting. Councilmember Kalos will soon discuss this issue in more detail. Finally, we have a pre-considered resolution sponsored by Councilmember Keith Powers calling upon the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign legislation improving the format of ballot proposal to minimize confusion. Councilmember Powell's will also discuss his resolution in greater detail momentarily. These resolutions cover a wide range of issues from fixing small confusions to addressing large structural problems with our state state's system. Together, I believe the they will bring a big step forward for our city and our state, and I will encourage members of our committee to support them. I would, I would like to thank our speaker, Corey Johnson, for placing such an importance on the issues of election and campaign finance reform. I will also ask, I will also like to thank Councilmember Ben Kalos and Keith Powers, not only for sponsoring two of of today's resolution, but also for being tirelessly, tireless uh, advocates for improving our elections. I would also like to thank the entire committee for its work and support of our efforts. And finally, I would like to thank our committee staff, our wonderful staff, committee counsel Brad Reed, policy analyst uh, Elizabeth Cronk, finance analyst Zach Harris, and my own legislative director, Claire McLevin, for making these hearings possible. 
I now ask uh, Council Member Kalos and Council Member Powers to make opening statements. In the interest of time, I'd like to uh, wave and uh, just say that uh, uh, this is important and we look forward to supporting our Albany and doing so. You're a champion. Thank you so much. In the interest of time, I echo Council Member Kalos's comments, but I do thank the committee staff and the committee for prioritizing, ensuring that our elections are, uh, are, are more fair and then and we can have an increased turnout and of course in my resolution that people know actually where to find the things that they're voting for. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you're another true champion. This is truly the dream team. Uh, this moment I would like to ask uh, Jorge uh, E. Ortiz from 32BJ uh, to testify. Good afternoon, gentlemen and ladies. My name is Jorge Ortiz. I'm union member for 32 BJ for 45 years. Um, on behalf of 32 BJ SIU, I want to thank the New York City Council Committee of Government Operations for holding this hearing on key voting reforms. As a union, we are 163,000 members strong. In New York City, we represent 85,000 building services working who keep our city residences, buildings, school, offices, stadiums, and airports clean and safe. We proudly fight for the rights of all of the members. We are working class for people of color to live safe and healthy life with dignity and respect. 32 BJ members are very active in the democratic process. We support many of the core principles currently under consideration of the Albany of being proposed today as a resolution. These principles include same-day voter registration, aromatic voter registration, and multiple probably seated, not only at the Department of Motor Vehicles. A 12-day daily voting period with at least two weekends of voting and evening hours as well as funding to support counties. Pre-registrations -re of 16 and 17 years old. We thank the speaker, Chair Cabrera, Council Member Carlos, and the committee member for pushing this key resolution. We urge Albany to take action now to ensure that New York has truly progressive voting policy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any questions? No. Yes, we have a question. I, I want to say thank you for the testimony. And, and I know that uh, I was actually hearing yesterday where a member for 32 BJ also testified around um, bail and bail reform. So. I want to say thank you for being part of a conversation with happening. I want to thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Jorge, Jorge. One more. So, have we um, a, uh, some legislators in Albany that are supporting this, this bill that you know of? Yes. Okay, do you? Okay, very good. Thank you. Great to hear that. that, that Any other make, question? That makes a difference sometimes. Any other questions? And uh, Councilman Perkins, I know you served the Senate very well. Uh, thank you for all your service you did there, and I'm sure you have a lot of influence still there. <laughs> well, it's good, that, it's good to be at the Council. It was a pleasure for me. Helping folks in Albany as well. There you go. I want to thank you again. Muchas gracias. De thank nada. you so much. Uh, and with that, uh, we're getting ready to vote, and I'm going to ask the clerk to to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on governmental operations. All items are coupled. Chair Cabrera. I vote aye, and I want to congratulate uh, Council Member uh, Ben Kalos and Council Member Powers uh, and the RESO and encourage all the members to vote yes and also neglected to recognize we also being joined by Council Member and myself. Kalos. Uh, with congratulations to our chair and Council Member Powers, uh, I and all. Mizell. Yes. Perkins. 
I vote aye on all, and congratulations to all the sponsors, and I'm glad to uh, be a part of this. Powers. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Yeager. May I have the excuse to explain my vote, Mr. Chairman? Absolutely. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, uh, I join you and my colleagues in congratulating uh, uh, Councilmember Kalos, Councilmember Powers, and of course yourself, Mr. Chairman, for your commitment to democracy. Uh, while I support many of these bills, many of these resolutions uh, and the bills uh, to, of which they are subject uh, in Albany, uh, with respect to one particular resolution, I am not able to vote in favor, and I wish to explain why. Um, it would be resolution with the temporary assignment number of T2018-1885 uh, by my good friend and very wise colleague, Councilmember Kalos. Um, and I, while I support part of the resolution, I do not support it in its entirety. Um, I support the Assemblyman Levine's Bill A9608B, which would provide registered voters with seven days of early voting. I think early voting is important in our democracy. I think it gives us an opportunity to get people out who can't otherwise show up on election day during the 15 hours that polls are open. However, I cannot support um, uh, Bill A7623 and the Senate uh, Bill 840, uh, which would provide for no excuse absentee ballot voting. I believe that our democracy is important enough that it should not become the functional equivalent of owning stock in Kellogg's, where we get a mail-in ballot, we send it in, we call it a day, we walk away. Um, and I'm also concerned about the instance and the potential instances of fraud in my great borough of Brooklyn, where everything is always perfect except for this little part that I'm going to describe. We have seen elections where uh, unscrupulous people uh, engage in uh, absentee ballot fraud, which in my view, uh, and in the view of many people involved in litigation about this, cost elections to good Democrats. Um, and I think that's, that's something that uh, we should be very vigilant about. Now, I'm not one of those people who believe that uh, people should be forced to show ID at a poll because of this you know, alleged fraud. I don't believe in that. I don't think it's true. I don't think it's demonstrable, and it's never really something that's affected elections. But I think when we open up the paper balloting, the mail, the, the mail and balloting to allow where anybody can kind of walk around with a clipboard and sign people up to receive ballots by mail, send them in, and there's no real tracking and there's no real um, accountability, that's something that I can't support. So uh, I vote aye on all, with the exception, as I indicated, T2018-1885, and of course, with my apologies to Mr. Kalos, because almost all of his ideas are almost always perfect. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> can you tell my wife? By vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. All items are adopted with the exception of preconsidered resolution T number 1885, which is adopted by a vote of five in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you so much, and we'll keep the roll open for another 15 minutes. Life is good. Have a great day. <laughs>